I'm Loretta. And I'm Lynn. And today we're going to talk to you and show you more about this great quilt that we have hanging behind us called Graceful Flowers. It's beautiful. Um, it reminds me a lot of like Little House on the Prairie, um, just because of it's a Civil War reproduction type fabric. My daughter just got finished reading Little House in the Big Woods, so this is kind of on my mind. Um, it uses some of the calico prints. She was just asking me, you know, what's a calico? What's calico prints? Because they talk about that in the book. So this would be a great example to show her. Right, and we've had lots of requests for uh, reproductions of war fabrics mm -hmm. to do some quilts like that. So we've right. got that in the works. And so this is our first and we're really excited about it. And so this quilt is, is also, it's created with your Go Cube 8 inch and your companion set. Yes. So this is another example for you out there uh, with your cubes, an idea of what you can do. And this uh, quilt is created with three different blocks, right? Uh, yes, correct. Um, and I'm not sure if we mentioned or not that the, the fabric that was used is called Grace um, by Connecting Threads. Okay, so. great. Beautiful fabric. Yes. Okay, so we have the three blocks up here, so yes. let's go through them. So we have a star block, which you can see right here. So that's one of the blocks. And then we have a quarter square triangle block, which is right here. Right, and so the interesting thing about this block is that this shape is actually not, not in the cube. The, we do right. have an eight inch finished quarter square yes. die. So that's an extra die. But it also really shows you how versatile that the cubes are mm -hmm. that any other die that is in the AccuQuilt line that finishes to, for, in this case, eight inches, Right. You, you can use those and uh, mix and match them with your cube mm -hmm. shapes and your companion shapes. Definitely. And then the third block is a signature block. So, and this is the one we're going to... That is the one that we are going to cut out today and... And show you how show to you put how together. To that together, yes. Okay. So the, the dies that are used in the, the signature block um, are shape number five from the mix and match, and then shape number 10 from the companion set. So I'm just gonna cut those out real quickly here. Um, you can easily layer up to, to six layers of fabric, but I'm just gonna do two for this demonstration. And you just wanna make sure that your fabric is on the lengthwise grain as it's going through the length of the cutter. So I'm gonna cut out shape number five here, which is the half square triangles. Okay, and uh, your, the mat, the six by six mat comes right. with your cubes, so that's great. You don't have to worry about um, ha having to get an extra mat. Right. Okay. So here are perfect half square triangles. I'll Thank give those you. to you. All right, so this pattern is definitely where I would cut out all of my pieces right. uh, at the same time, uh, layer up to six layers. Uh, on all of these shapes, and um, and then you you can easily do chain piecing with most sure. of these blocks. Yep. And then I just layered my fabric um, over the signature block, which is shape ten from the companion. Um, you know, one great thing that uh, if you have a go big, you could run both of these through at the same time. That's right. So that would be a great time saver. So here. All right. Are your signature blocks? Okay. So I am going to, now the one thing to keep in mind, so we've got our signature block here with our half square triangles, the number five shape, it's actually the long edge that you're gonna sew. Mm -hmm. So I always like to point that out. And then you can see how you've got your points here. Mm -hmm. And so you're just adding your points there. So it makes a block, right. a square. And then it's so nice how these, um, because of our dog-eared corners that are designed right into the shapes, you've got a perfect match there. You know to just start there with your needle and end here, okay. and it's going to come out perfect mm -hmm. every time. OK, so let's go ahead, and we're going to sew. All right. I think my machine at home is not, I can't, uh, I go as fast as I, a lot faster. Oh. So. <laughs> yeah, and like you said earlier, this would be great for chain, chain piecing. So Absolutely. So you could just get all of your, your signature blocks with your half square triangles all lined up and just go. Right, and so I'm going to, uh, I'm going to go ahead and just sew okay. this other, then we can press that out. Sure. And I'm just matching up, make sure that my needle is where that point starts. Mm -hmm. For that accurate quarter inch seam allowance. Yes, so all of our geometric shapes are designed to have that 
quarter inch seam allowance included. Right. And you don't have to trim off those dog ears. Right. So it makes it so easy just like that. Now we can press it. And I think we're pressing towards the triangles. Mm -hmm. The fabric seems to want to go that way, it looks like. And I think you got the iron heated up. <laughs> Is so, it hot? <laughs> yeah. OK. Perfect. All right, there we go. Just to press that way. Mm -hmm. OK. So then I've kind of got my, where, what I'm doing right here is laying out my block. And then I would add my other, my other quarter, quarter block here. I just, I'm going to sew this row and this row together. Mm -hmm. And then really, I would make all of my blocks, I'm sure yes. you'd probably do the same thing, right. and just lay them out and then just sew your rows together mm -hmm. and then uh, put the rest of the, rest of the top together. Right. A design wall would be very helpful just to make sure that you have all of your pieces in the correct order and you know, in the, the correct direction too, especially with those signature blocks. Absolutely.